Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to my page. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to see you guys popping on in. If you're new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Melissa Kubovic. I'm an online marketing strategist and Facebook ad expert to health and life coaches, spiritual healers, functional medicine doctors, energy healers, and anyone who is building a service-based business a personal brand and wanting to scale their business in 90 days or less. So that's what I help you guys do. And today I want to talk about showing up or shipping out. So as you pop in, come on into the comments and say hello. Give me some love. Click on those hearts and those thumbs ups. And thank you guys for being here. If you're tuning into the podcast, welcome back, marketingtipswithmelis.com. And today we're talking about a, something that happened to me last weekend. So as a side hobby of mine, I DJ for parties, probably about once a month, not too often. Um, and I love doing it. And it is truly my passion. I specifically do bar and bat mitzvahs because I love middle school kids. And something happened at my last gig, and I wanted to bring that up, bring it in to the business conversation. Hey, guys, when you're hopping in, say hello. And I wanted to relate this to absolutely your life, but also your business. So I show up to my um, DJ gigs with a team of four. It's me a second set of hands and two dancers. And in this last gig, and I've been DJing for like almost nine years, in this last gig, my helper uh, hurt her knee and she was not able to attend. So I found my backup and the day of my backup fell out of a chair, sprained her uh, ankle, twisted her ankle and wasn't able to walk and obviously wasn't able to help out. So I was in this part of the day where we have to pack up, load all the equipment, set up everything, finish the, the downloading of music or cutting music or whatever the last minute details are that the DJ has to take on before arriving. And I needed to find help, an extra person. So first I went with being resourceful. I posted online in groups and neighborhood groups. I used the next door app. Um, I spoke to all my friends. I just wanted someone for a minimum to show up to the event beforehand and help me set up and even break down at the end if they could. They didn't even have to stay the whole party. I just needed extra set of hands. And I was working on all the other stuff I had to get done and time was going and I was getting kind of frantic like, oh no, what am I going to do? And so at that point, I had to make a decision. Was I going to let that energy, that freak out energy, control my day, control the, the lead up into an event? Or was I going to just break ties, cut the cord and say, okay, that mess is its own thing and put my mindset here with the blinders on and focus on what I need to get done right now to finish up what I'm doing so I can show up to the event and be the best that I could be. And guess which way I went? Well, at first I was trying to be resourceful as we were like super early in the morning, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., but 10 a.m., still getting all these no's from everybody. And by 11, 11.30, I was like, okay, I need to start setting up around 4.00. Or if I don't have a second set of hands, I need to come even earlier than that. It's time to stop worrying about that and thinking about that. If it's meant to be, it will be. The universe will bring someone into my lap and help me. And if not, I can't waste any more time thinking about that. I need to do what I have to do now so that when I show up, I can totally be turned on. And just like I'm here and I'm ready to do what I need to do at the best of my ability. And so I want you to think about in your business, ups and downs, or even in your life, which we all know we have ups and downs. When do you say this is the pivotal moment? This is the turning point where I'm going to shut this down and move over here and focus to get it done. It could be inside of your relationships. It could be in your business where maybe you're bringing in a lot of the wrong clients. And when are you going to say, okay, cut them loose and let's head in this direction instead? When do you let that stress control you? and therefore hinder your growth and stunt it? And when do you say enough is enough and now I'm gonna focus here and go? And it's really in those moments where you find a path towards success. So what happened was 
I didn't find an extra set of help. I had to show up two hours earlier than I was going to show up. And I already showed up two hours earlier. So I had to show up four hours earlier, but I just went with it and I did it. And you know what happened? I was so in my element. It was one of the best gigs that I've ever had. The best parties. Everyone had a blast. Everyone was on the dance floor the whole night. Uh, the, the, the boy who the party was for gave me the most amazing compliment. Said I'm the, the greatest DJ in the world. And he hopes that I'm DJing still when his son is old enough to have a bar mitzvah, which was totally adorable and also warmed my heart so much. But if I continued to have that stress hang over me and I didn't show up in my best self and that I let that panic set in, then, you know, I'm coming into it in a bad energy. I'm creating bad energy. So I had to make that conscious decision to set that worry and stress aside and just show up and be my best self. And when you show up and you show up in your business and you show up and you do your power hour every day and you show up with your clients and you give them the best that you can give them and the most value that you possibly can, what you're doing is for yourself, you are creating your purpose. You are putting your best self forward. You are doing what you are meant to do. Hey, Gracie, thanks for being on. But at the same time, you are giving to your business, to your clients, to your prospects, to whoever, um, the best version of yourself. And that's what they need. That's what they need. They need to feel that value and that connection and that bond and that relationship building. And you can't build a relationship when you're not being yourself, when you're not being authentic, when you're not being vulnerable, when you're not creating moments of connection. You can't build a relationship. And if you've got stress and worry and panic and hunger, this hunger, this need for maybe it's a financial need, like you're feeling this uh, desperation, whatever that is that you hold on to that has that negative thing, that is going to pour out into all the other areas of your life and your business and your clients and the work that you do. You need to clear that air, clear the energy, release those painful emotions and get really focused into what you are meant to do and how you serve people best. And when you come to the table with that type of value, that authenticity, that honesty, and really giving people the best version of yourself that you can give, you are giving all of you. You are giving a whole holistic view of what is possible for somebody else in your business. So when you get stuck, and you will because this is life and this is business, when you feel that creeping in, I want you to consciously switch your mindset and say, I can do this. I've done it before. I can get through this. I've gotten through things before and really shift your focus to what it is that you need to be doing in the moment right now that's going to help you move forward. Whether it's money making activities. If you have a non money making activity and you need money, then you need to pass those activities on to someone else or set them aside and focus on what you need to be doing right now that's going to propel you forward. This is how you're going to scale your business, how you're going to make really deep relationships and connections with people, how you're going to fill your programs. It all comes from this mindset and this place of authenticity and really showing up. That means being consistent on social media. That means if you are writing a weekly newsletter, you need to write that weekly newsletter every single week. If that means that you have a program that you're launching and you want to fill that program up, you need to reverse engineer all those steps leading up to that launch so that you know what you need to do piece by piece, step by step every single day. Um, in my in my quarterly planning series where I spend four business days where I don't take any sales calls or any client calls, and I dive deep into my content creation for the next quarter of my business, three months worth. Hey, Connie, nice to see you. During those quarterly planning sessions, I am mapping out everything I need to be focusing on when it comes to my launches, when it comes to any promotions, my content calendar, my podcast schedule, my newsletters, any content I want to post on my personal page, on my business page, on LinkedIn. 
maybe it's events that I'm hosting or I'm attending out in real world off of social media. I plan all of that out quarterly so that I could actually show up and be consistent. And there are people who have been following me on Facebook for years and years and years. And that's because I keep showing up. I am here. I'm not going anywhere. So if you have an online business that you are trying to put out there and you're kind of wishy-washy or you're letting the stress take over, hey, Kit, nice to see you. If you're letting these negative emotions kind of guide you in what you're supposed to do or what you're not supposed to do, then you're not being true and authentic to yourself. You're not allowing room for your business to grow. Your clients are going to feel that negative energy that you are kind of in, in, in loped in, in, in loped in, enveloped in, I don't even know the word, but you are surrounded by all of these emotions and energetic negativities and toxicities and everything around you, then that's what's going to come of your business. You're going to have a really hard time finding your clients. Your clients aren't going to be in alignment with you. Maybe you're going to be making a lot of personalized proposals and packages and helping everyone a whole different way, which means you're recreating the wheel and you're not really making enough money to scale your business up. So when you can get really focused on who you help and you can get really focused on that positivity and the mindset of putting your blinders on and just doing what needs to be done right now and you show up consistently, your business will grow. If you guys are having trouble with this, reach out to me in the comments and let me know what's been going on in your business so I can give you some feedback and pointers about that. I'd love to help you out with that. So you need to show up or you need to ship out. It's really that simple. When you're running an online business, a service-based personal brand online business, like rule number one, consistently be there. Because if someone needs your help, but not right now, maybe they need it in a year from now, who are they going to go to? The person that's there when they kind of are there and then not there and they disappear from social media for a couple of weeks, or are they going to go to the person that is showing up every single day, twice a day for years and years and years? You know that brand is still there. You know that person is still there doing their work. So when you are ready to get some help, you're going to go to the person you know is there who's always been there supporting you. So in your business, you need to be that person. You need to support your prospects and your clients, you can build that relationship by showing up time and time again. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time. Bye.